This topic is rational exponents. Rational exponents just mean you're going to have a fraction for your exponent. Um, it's a non-unit fraction exponent with a whole number base. So they're just saying um, that you have a fractional exponent and you're going to have a whole number for your base. So when we do um, fractional exponents, 16 to the 3 halves, that little 2 right there is the index of your root symbol. And that goes right here. And then the three that's in the numerator, that just stays as your exponent, which PS, when the index is two, we don't actually write that. So we're doing the square root of 16 cubed. So we need to actually simplify this. And instead of multiplying 16 by 16 by 16, I'm going to break it all the way down, except I'm going to leave 16 squared times 16, because I know that the 16 squared will be the square root of 16 squared of 16. And then 16 itself is 8 times 2, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. It's 4. To, wait, we know the square root of 16 is 4. So it's 2 times, so it's 4. So we have 16 times 4 for a final answer. There's nothing left in the square root box. So this is going to be 64. 16 times 4 is 64. Well, that was fun. Okay, let's try another one. So now we have the fourth root of 16 to the fifth power. Okay, so we take groups of four because our index is four. So we have 16 to the fourth power times 16. That's the same thing as 16 to the fifth. So the fourth root of 16 to the fourth power is just 16. The fourth root of 16. So we just showed that 16 is two times two times two times two. That's a group of four. And when the index is four, we wanna take out a two. We wanna take out, it, like we look for groups of four and then one of those can come outside. So we have 16 times two. And that is 16 to the 5 fourths power. So what is 16 times 2 anyway? Is that like 32? And that would be our final answer. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? You can actually um, type this in your calculator. You can do 64, in this case, 64. The little caret button like that will be like how you raise to a power um, I don't have my calculator by me, but I think it's above the division sign or something. And then you can type in your fraction as a fraction. You do alpha y equals number one, and it will show up as a box and you can go like that. But let's just do it by hand. So we have six, the cubed root of 64 squared. So let's think about this for a minute. 64 is, um, isn't that eight times eight? So we have the cubed root of eight times eight, and that's squared, so we're gonna have two more eights. We need groups of three in order to pull one out, so that's an eight on the outside. And then eight is two times two times two, so we have group of three two. so then we have a two that we can pull out. So eight times two is 16, and this would give you the answer of 64 to the two thirds, and that's the end of the lesson.